Hello people, this is Lecky and welcome back to my Elsod LP. Last time, we went through Magmanta's cave and I got carried so hard by my guildmate. Today, we're going to run Temple of Frozen Water and also I'm going to show you the last build in Hamel. And the reason I asked my guildmates to run with me because you will know that it takes about 9 minutes if you like just run this dungeon without any guide. Well, well, normally if you do the right way, it takes about 6 minutes and yeah, last time I got, I, I think we had 5 minutes. Uh, well, that's not important. And yeah, there is about 4 minute gap between the right way and just Dolly's attack. Yeah, and that 4 minute gap comes from the boss fight alone. It makes a huge difference, right? And I want to shorten that gap, but if you just attack with your Maelstrom Rage or some other some other like useless attack, it makes the boss hide in the background and just a waste of time. I don't like that. I have to run dungeons many 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 times and I cannot spend uh, every time I, I, I mean I cannot spend 4 minutes every time I go to that dungeon. Yeah well I covered that. Let's look at the dungeon. Here we have a ship. It's a uh, the field's name is uh, Noah's Grave. I think it's Noah is the name of ship. And we have a uh, underwater field here. Still we have some, uh, more mermans and crab. Which I don't like so I'm going to use my pulling grass. And Hagalets? Hagalats? You saw this monster in the last dungeon, right? Yeah. Well, I honestly I don't like this feel because just because it it has under underwater part. And on on the other part of ship we have a uh, we have some red knight betrayer and this guy you also saw from the last dungeon, but as an ally, not as your enemy. Um, they combo, I uh, their combos quite long. You don't want to get hit. Let me show you. Come on, attack me. Yeah, like this. And imagine two people attacking like me, attacking like this. It hurts hard, and it right now it doesn't hurt bad because it's uh, what got me. Come on, I was talking. Yeah, just die. Yeah, so right now it didn't hurt as bad as I talked because it's a field and the monsters are weakened. But in the later dungeon, like here, holes of water. It hurts a lot, you don't want to get hit, be careful. And there are two portals here. Upper portal you will access to Sender, the last dun I mean last town. And over here it access to the previous field, circular waterway. Oh we have a boss. But I don't want to deal it. I already fought in in this LP. Yeah, so I show you the feel so I can start the dungeon, right? Let me go to that uh, resting place. Yeah, I'm back and let's see if I have a quest here. 
It's always good to check a quest before you run a any dungeons. And, uh, yeah. Let me talk about this. I have two EXP medal. Both of them are from a event, uh, an event. This one is from the Psychic Tracer launching event. And this one, I just exchanged my orbs from Ariel. I think they stack because they are different kind of EXP metal. So that means I can get 45% bonus EXP. I hope that best my level up. And also this item, Philosopher's Scroll. If I use it, I instantly level up. Yeah, so if I use a 59, I can get to level 60. Yeah, without any delay. I'm going to use it after I level up to 59 because right now I have about 50% of EXP. I don't want to waste this. And if I level up to 60, I can change my weapon too. So I, I think I covered everything I want to talk about. Right? About a title. Well, it looks okay. Yeah, let's start the dungeon. Temple of Frozen Water. Let me tell you beforehand, this dungeon looks beautiful. Yeah, just look at it. People, I, uh, the company really put, I uh, put a work here. Here, right from the start, we have a hedgehog here. You saw the red one in the field, right? And we also had a crab and some element monsters. I still don't know their exact species in English. Again, crabs guard their fronts so of attack with your pulling thrust. It's always your best move. Well, at least for me. So, uh, I failed to gather them around, so I killed one by one. Ah, uh, yeah, be careful of this trap. If you stand above it, it gets you. It gets you and you will be frozen. Let me show you. Like this, and you cannot move. For a brief, brief moment. Going to use flying kite. Oh, because come on, that was not fair. I was in. I couldn't move. Let's go. We have a mini boss from the normal difficulty. So this one is called Giant Linker. And I think this one also slows you down if you get Uh I didn't want to use it. Come on, let me move. Okay. And let's go. I think there is a sniper, so I'm going to go front. Let me move. Uh, no, there is no. Ouch. I was, I was too concerned about the sniper. I guess that sniper only spawns in hard and very hard difficulty. Yeah. If we are... If we, if we are in hard or very hard difficulty, we don't go into this door. I think it leads to this way. Yeah, we'll see later. 
Yeah, so this this section only shows in the hard and very I uh, only shows in normal. Gosh, I couldn't see that. Do you think it's fair? I don't think so. You come down. Come on. Gosh, yeah, take that. Is it the last room? Oh, sh God, let me jump over. So, this section has a lot of linear maps, so I think it's good to have a Giga Stream or, you know, the skills I keep talking about. Uh, we have one more room, one more room. Oh, Sniper! Gotta kill this first. Falling Dragon and... Oh, we had one more. Good that I was in the... Skill Delay, I mean, the Invincible Brain. Is that the right word? Too many Hoggleheads. I hate those. I hate this most. Well, tech, it's not as bad as other monsters, but it's still annoying that if I don't, if I'm not careful, that then it drains my MP. And we have a boss here, Avalanche. Tell me it's the right pronouns. Yeah, so this boss also hides to the background, but. You can, I don't think you can prevent from going behind by alone. I mean, if you're fight alone. There is a way, but it requires very... Yeah, so there, we, there it goes. It shoots missile from the background. And I have to just run around like this if I'm alone. If you're in the party, just jump circle like this. That take care of. Yeah, that works. But I'm this. This is easier if you are soloing. Yeah. So multiples of seven, so that makes seven, fourteen, and twenty-one. It does this. <laughs> yeah, so this boss is one of the... How should I say? Yeah, so people don't like this boss. Oh, uh, why did I jump? Time to use Blank Eye. Come on, my pet. Time to attack. Yeah. Do your work. It spawns, all, uh, it spawns a lot of ice trap. I have to break it. So that I'm... I won't be caught by accident. Uh, jump circle. Circle. You can break that trap once, once it spawns. I mean... Once it appears like that. I'm going to use Blast. So build MP awake and chain my skill. Oh. Well. Result is the only matter. <coughs> yeah, so there is a way to skip that ice missile base, but it's really hard to do. You have to chain your delays at a certain timing so that it does, so that that avalanche doesn't move an inch, and you have to pretty much one shot the boss. So it requires either very very strong weapon 
or very very good party and if you are in like low level like this you probably have neither so just do the normal way just think of it as it takes long sorry you cannot shorten this boss fight and did I have a quest? No? Why? So... See you after I get into this dungeon. Here I am. Very hard difficulty. And... Right from the start, we don't have much... I don't have much to say because it's about same except monsters got stronger oh be careful you're not going to get me twice that I sh why did you send on but I why didn't you make the monster fly This part is also same, so I'm going to use my Falling Dragon here. Oh! That trap. Yeah, so this Hatchog is very annoying. It attacks... It has very short delay to attack and it, it's in super armor state, so you cannot cancel its attack either. Oh, my throat. Uh, jump uh, pass through this mo uh, this part. If you are Empress, sorry, you cannot. You don't have a way to pass through this. You have to break that pillar. Ouch! Hurts. Why my party is slacking? Yeah, stop uh, stop staying in the Lina. Yeah, this. This skill, it heals you. Look at my HP. Another boss fight. So pass through this. I think we're going to have a fever, so I'm going to use my uh, sacred art here and chain with this and lastly flying kite. Uh, I can awake. Oh. Never mind, it doesn't look like we are going to have a fever. And that wind sneaker is lacking a lot. I don't like that. Do your work, wind sneaker. Uh yeah, be careful of this sniper. There is one more here. Going to use blind kite and hopefully we have a fever here. Yeah. Perfect. It jumped over. What? Yeah, so, like I said, in the normal, we went through this door, but now we went to the right side, and it leads to a new section. It's a completely different section. Yeah, so, overall, the overall length is about the same, but this part, oh, nice. This part has a one more mini boss. Here. Here. Yeah, Ice Stinger. It's... Do you remember the Shadow Stinger from the first dungeon in Hamel? This one... It's, a, it's the same, same thing, except it... Flint... Except... Uh, yeah. It causes frost fight instead. Ouch! The shadow linkers really slowed me down, and I couldn't do anything because of that delay. Yeah, so ice stinger is pro. Little bit stronger, but not by much. Let's go. Uh, more sniper. 
Oh, there's one more here. Almost forgot. And there's a box here. Going to get it. Oh, useless egg. Jump over and... Oh. Nice work, my pet. Sorry, my throat hurts, so I didn't talk for a moment. Here, we have a ice slide ready to jump. Oh, that mount is good. So jump like this. You don't die even if you fall, but... Come on, you don't want to lose your HP like in this place. So, after we kill that, we are at the last section. I mean, last room. Going to use this. Oh, the height was not high enough. I thought they, I, I, I thought that would take care of both. God, what is that Rune Slayer is doing? I mean, what is that Rune Slayer doing? This party is lacks a lot. I have a such bad random party luck. Oh, you know what I mean. So, unlike the other I, last boss, this one, I have no choice but to take some time to kill. I don't think that Rune Slayer has. Phoenix something, yeah, Phoenix Talon. So I'm going, I'm going to let. Well, yeah. Here's my tip: if if you have a Rana or Aisha in your party, let them charge. Let them charge your MP, their MP. Usually they can get about hundred to. Oh, that does that was not good. They can get about. Uh, I'm not going to use Blast. They can get about 100 to 200 MP. Go away, Runeslayer. I know you don't have a Phoenix Talon. Yeah, so... What the Grandmaster and Runeslayer here are doing... You don't want to do that. It doesn't help your party. Ouch. Well, I don't think it's, it matters here, but I though because the wind sneaker is not using any of uh, attack skill. It only uh, she only uses Irelina, which heals your party. And there is there is some buff, but I wish she uses a attack skill instead of Lina. Going to use this. Yeah, so this is a bad example of your party. Don't please do some work for your party. Don't select like this. I bet I got the MVP. See? Let's see if I ha if I got any higher EXP here. Because I have that EXP medal. Oh, s about 600k? Not bad. So... That's it for this ep- What? I got about 13% from a- uh, From two dungeon run? Wow. So that's it for this episode, thanks for watching, and next time we are going to run Holes of Water, and by that time I'm prob- I will be prob- I think I will be level 60, so I can- uh, that means my max capacity of Spirit Orb 
increases by one and also I can learn a new skill. You will see next time, probably. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.